What's up, people? I'm back with some more Saladin. You have the horns of Hatton with Saladin. Yeah. Last night we forgot to up the volume. We clung to the necks of horses or camels while waves of sand rose and fell around us. The Saracens had pursued a large force of Europeans into the desert. The Crusaders carry with them a relic, a piece of the true cross. Capturing this artifact will deal a severe blow to the morale of Saladin's Christian followers. I asked Saladin why we were here. Miles from civilization and water. He said to bring crimson death to the blue-eyed enemy. The huge crusader army has halted to make it stand beneath the two peaks called the Horns of Hattin. At the Horns is only a single pool of water, and Saladin controls it. At night, the Saracens ride out and extravagantly pour out vessels of water into the sand within sight of the thirst-crazed Europeans. It is cruelty worthy of a crusader. More like a cruel satyr. Ha! Volume back down. A little bit more. Okay. Uh, hopefully this is working. I mean... I record all these videos two to three at a time, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how this is sounding like good to you guys or not. Anyway, capture the piece of the True Cross, a relic, and return it to the Horns of Hatton, which is in our base. We are restricted to the Castle Age and have a poplament of 75. This was not changed. Like, this is a very low po uh, poplament. In this case, the best defense is a good offense. Or offense is the best defense. Yeah, that. Sorry, uh, there are not many fish in Lake Tiberius. Support your economy with farms. As with any relic, your enemy may garrison the piece of the true cross in a monastery. Beware the Templars and Hospitallers. They are your most dangerous opponents. Um, the So the piece of the true cross doesn't normally... Like, it starts enclosed in a palisade wall, so normally it won't be in a monastery, but, like, if you let the monks out, because there are, like, some monks in there, then your enemies might pick it up. There is precious little stone in the desert. You'll not you'll have to rely on the strength of troops, not castles, walls, or towers. That, combined with the low pop limit, does mean you have to be pretty efficient with your army. Your scouts report. Saladin initially commands a substantial army of spearmen and skirmishers, the Saracens own two camps, one in the north near the Horns of Hatton and the other in the south. The Knights Templar and the Hospitallers control the west of the map. Both orders will field knights and siege weapons. They also send infantry and archery units to attack your camp. I think the Hospitallers make more infantry and the Knight Templar make more archers, if I recall. The English Crusaders have camped on the shore of Lake Tiberius. They could become a threat if they manage to reach the Castle Age as soon as they begin to construct dangerous siege weapons, also Britain crossbows. Uh, crusaders from Jeru Jerusalem have been sighted in the south, Reynold de Chatillon among them. Their forces consist primarily of knights and spearmen. Lots of reading. The European murderers shall die in this desert. So, you start with a good amount of resources, especially since you can sell your stone, knowing that you can't make any stone structures. Whoops, that was a fail. But yeah, you start with two TCs, which is really sick. But you do have uh, the two Crusading Orders start in the Castle Age, and everyone else is Feudal Age. Make some use of the Saracen Market. So this one, not only is offense the best defense, but being aggressive is the best offense. Yeah. Oops, forgot to hockey these guys. And as 
Jerusalem is in Feudal Age, they will be unable to remake this Mangano. And I'm pretty sure they never even advanced a Castle Age. Oh yeah, also they're Franks. They used to be Byzantines. Not really sure why. I guess it's because Reynald is among them. Doesn't really matter because they're just in Feudal Age. Well, I guess they now have scouts with a bit more HP, but it's not really that big of a deal. And we'll make some archers, because Saracens. And we have three ranges. Should put some villagers on wood. There is a very nice area to build a lumber camp up there, which you will in a little bit. I don't know, like, you used to have the same palisade layout back in Age of Kings AOC. I don't know why they didn't give you palisade gates. <laughs> you know, you still have to, like, delete your own walls just to get out. You can build palisade gates. If you so desire. Anyway, despite our army being quite large, it is also quite crappy. Because it's mostly spearmen. <laughs> I would prefer to not lose the Mangonel, but alas, we rarely get what we want in life, do we? Oh my god, they're chasing one villager. Awesome! Regardless, if you aren't an idiot like me and keep the Mangonel alive, you'll, you can use it just to kill the British, or Jerusalem I guess, but the British are closer. And now we're just losing everything. But I mean, we have to face these Cavaliers eventually. But don't worry, these are the only Cavaliers they get. Whoops. Uh, let's just close this off just to be on the safe side though. I guess I don't need this. Anywho, you can see that our uh, opponents do have a much lower score than us. So despite our uh, rather unfortunate <laughs> beginnings there, we're still just fine. Seriously. Way too many gold miners. Anyway, we can't go super hard on the uh, villagers. Because our pop limit's so low. Like, usually back in Age of Kings, you would be able to make super good use of, like, forward castles and towers and stuff. But in this scenario, you really just have to be good with your units. Anyway, classic AI stuff. Come on, you can make it! There you go, 15 out of 15. Totally planned. This is Reynald's brilliant move. <laughs> Just attack the town center and hope for the best. That's some. This is some crusader natural selection right here. Yep. Anyway, get just a few more villagers and click up to Castle Age pretty soon. Mm -hmm. 
even just likely gonna buy our way up. Don't even need that stone. Eh, it's getting pretty expensive, even for Saracens. Oh, and I just so wish to boom. Anyway, oh yeah, uh, I should probably tell you guys. So the entire east of the map is dominated by Lake Tiberius, but like the scout said, there really aren't that many fish in it. If you had a higher pop limit, even with very few fish in the lake, I would still dock it, but because your pop limit's so low, it's not really worth it. I mean, I guess technically it's worth it always, or almost always, just because your opponents never build a dock and... You know, you can just add in some fishing ships as it like a, a pseudo third town center. Just get gill nets, get all that stuff. I can even build a dock. Okay, you can still build a dock. You could build a dock in AOC. I don't know if they I wasn't sure if they had like removed that ability though. But eh. So the piece of the true cross is over here somewhere behind some palisade walls right in the midst of the Hospitallers and Templar. Don't know why the Hospitallers have so much of a higher score than the Knights Templar. Come on, Templar, pick it up. Get one of those, get one of those, those, those. Those. Let's see some uh, Saracen Archer magic. Definitely kill the English while they're still in feudal age. Also, I think they used to be called British, but now it is more correctly English. Siege Workshop. Oh yeah, I forgot if I pointed this out or not, but this is where we need to bring the relic. See, between the, the horns. I suppose the pavilion is Saladin's. Although he himself does not make an appearance in this campaign. The hero unit was added, uh, I think with Forgotten Empires, or with the Forgotten expansion. I know it exists now, I just forget exactly when it at was added. Rip. Ah, whatever. We're fighting uphill, so it's not that great, but what can you do? Oh, whoops. Oh! Hi! Good thing spearmen suck against villagers. Eh, go back to gold. You can get that one. Those guys have just been taking TC shots, haven't they? Get a monastery, because, you know, you need one of those for the relic. And then we'll just mix in some knights for the purposes of killing enemy siege units. And... Pretty much, yeah, just killing enemy siege units.
this is some Hero Micro right here. Hero Micro is just micro when you're... It, it's super pointless. But you do it anyway because it looks cool. And it technically uh, gives you slightly more value. Now that is Ornlu Micro. That is some patented Ornlu Micro when you're uh, off describing something completely irrelevant and then uh, lose all your units. I mean, those guys are pretty much dead. Food sell price is now amazing. Oop. Rip. Damn it. Are you kidding me? Well, now we are dying to a bunch of skirmishers. I guess it's just been a trend recently where I just <laughs> try and do stuff too quickly. But unfortunately for you guys, I don't learn my lesson. I'm pretty sure they, they didn't used to have their TCs uphill. I think that was added. Oh, this was happening. Regardless, we're slowly but steadily making, making it happen. Oh... Wait, how did you get there? Did they just walk into my base and start killing random villagers? Oh my god. These guys. Oh yeah, they also, uh, I think... Maybe it's both of them, or just Hospitallers, I don't remember. But they have some Teutonic Knights, don't worry. Nobody has any castles, what with this being a, a battle in the middle of the desert. Alrighty, back to the sucking just a little bit less. Wait, really? Progress. Not sure what that guy was doing. And the relic should be over here, somewhere. Behind these walls. Oh, unks. Not sure why those ones didn't auto, or try to convert. It's 
just punch through these walls. And it's a smash and grab. Oh, I guess they destroyed it over here. And we've more or less defeated everybody, except I guess Jerusalem, but they're still in feudal age. Let's just try... oh, whoops. Let's just try and not aggro that Teutonic Knight. Oh, no, I have four cross summon. But, nonetheless, we just need to bring it into this general area. Pretty fast scenario. We have captured the Europeans' precious relic. My heart weeps for the Crusader Imperial. Weep, weep. So, just over 30 minutes. I'm sure you can speedrun it much, much faster. Like, get uh, sell all your resources, get to cast Lage right away, wall this, and just go for, like, the, 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 the actual smash and grab down this way. Anyway, here is the Hospitaller's Camp. Templar rebuilt their TC, but they start over here. Here's Jerusalem's Camp. They're still in feudal age. Looks like the British were never able to rebuild their TC. You have some gold over here. This actually is even a decent amount of fish too. It's not. This is like not like there's no fish in this lake. Come on, man. Oh yeah, I'll turn up the volume. Fighting was fierce. The Crusaders had to conquer or die. They died. Saladin has treated his prisoners well, providing them with ice water from the mountains and comfortable tents. For the first time in years, I have been able to speak to fellow countrymen, but I am unsure what to say to these invaders. Not all Hi. the prisoners were treated so royally. Reynald de Chatillon was captured here and, fulfilling his vow, Saladin sliced off Reynald's head with his own scimitar. How ironic that it was only after the Crusaders entered their lands that the Saracens were transformed into the people that we set out to destroy. Well, war makes uh, everyone look pretty bad. Yet, it does make for a much more compelling setting for a video game. Age of Peace just doesn't really have the same uh, ring to it. Anyway, despite some fails here and there, we got her done. Uh, next scenario will be the Siege of Jerusalem. So look out for that, and I'll see you guys next time.